King Charles was photographed looking cheerful today after attending a Palm Sunday service in Gloucestershire. His appearance comes days after his state visit to Germany, which ended on Friday with a pint, as he celebrated UK ties with the country. Charles, 74, who wore a belted beige coat over a navy suit, was snapped holding a palm cross following the service this morning. The crosses, which are made from the fronds of palm leaves, are handed out during the Palm Sunday service. The service, which takes place on the last Sunday before Easter, marks the beginning of Holy Week. Crosses are handed out to mark Jesus' entry into Jerusalem several days before his crucifixion. As he rode on a donkey, people threw palm leaves at his feet, and waved palm fronds. The crosses are shared as a symbol of victory, triumph, and peace, reflecting Jesus' entry to Jerusalem, knowing his fate, but welcoming it as he knew he would die to save the sins of the world, before rising from the dead. King Charles sported a grey suit for the outing, which he paired with a pale pink shirt and blue and red striped tie, and a pair of brown suede shoes. None of the other royals were pictured with the king, but he was seen talking with the vicar, with whom he may have shared a joke, as he appeared to be laughing in one of the photos. With his hand in his pocket, the monarch looked dapper in his smart outfit, and appeared well rested, despite his busy week filled with engagements. The king and queen consort's state visit to Germany, the first of Charles' reign, began on Wednesday with a ceremonial greeting at Berlin's iconic Brandenburg Gate. The monarch was meant to be in France earlier in the week, but the trip was called off by President Macron, due to ongoing protests in the country over his pension reforms. During a speech at a state banquet staged in his honor on Wednesday evening, King Charles pledged to strengthen the connections between the UK and Germany as he paid tribute to the enduring value of the two nations' relationship. Germany has welcomed more than a million Ukrainian refugees seeking sanctuary after Russia invaded their homeland and Charles toured the Tegel Refugee Center to meet some of the group. On the second day of his trip, he was greeted warmly by Chancellor Olaf Scholz as he arrived at the Federal Chancellery Building. He also toured a farmer's market, where he and Queen Consort Camilla sampled some of the local produce, and took home some cheese and other delicacies. That same day, King Charles became the first British monarch to address German politicians in the Bundestag. There were nods of approval and several rounds of applause from MPs as His Majesty spoke about the friendship between our nations, and at times the royal looked emotional to be there. Charles also spoke movingly about the Queen's love for Germany and how he was moved by the tributes from its people after she died last September. He added, This friendship meant so much to my beloved mother, the Queen. 
the king praised Germany for standing up for Ukraine after Russia's invasion, saying it threatens Europe's security but that he was encouraged by the unity shown by Britain, Germany and other nations. He also joked about the rivalry between the two countries played out on the football pitch, including the Lioness's recent defeat of Germany's women at Euro 2022. There was also an ovation as he spoke of the ability of the nations to laugh both with each other and at each other and their shared love of sport, literature and music, referencing the Beatles and Kraftwerk. The trip ended on Friday with a toast to the monarch's visit. Charles and Camilla met hundreds of guests in a huge dockside building where Germany's big Eurovision hope played for hundreds. Earlier, Charles had stood shoulder to shoulder with Germany's president in a symbol of reconciliation as they laid wreaths in remembrance of the victims of war. Lord of the Lost, an industrial metal band from Hamburg, formed by singer and frontman Chris Harms, will represent Germany with the song Blood Glitter. The King shook hands with the group who sported a classic glam rock look, with Mohican haircuts, tattoos and makeup and body paint. Around 1,200 guests, from business leaders who invest in UK charities to British companies selling produce in Germany, were also invited and they watched as the king pulled and sipped a pint when he toured some of the food and drink stalls. Hamburg has a strong association with the Beatles, who cut their performing teeth in the city during the early 1960s, and covers band Silver Spoons played the group's song I Saw Her Standing There for the Royals.